Hi guys, my family. Mwah, mwah, mwah. What's up? What's going on? It's Kira. Part of living at it. What's going on? So listen, I just got some little things I just want to, real quick, real quick, real quick. She knows exactly what she wants and she knows exactly what she deserves and it makes them boys nervous. Before we get into it, let's have a moment for my hair. I love this hair. It is rose. I have literally wanted this color hair for the last couple of years. Like I want it I, so if you watched my videos for a while, if you saw my hair, how it was during around my birthday time, like those neon colors, I really wanted this color originally, but I could not find the hair anywhere. And then I went to the hair store and I was like, ah! So, and shout out to my braider, Key. She got me together. These all the way down, like they touch my butt. But anyway, we, we, you see, if so, if you see me doing this, it's just because I just got it done yesterday. So I'm just like, ew, 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 getting ready for Valentine's Day, ew. But anyway. <laughs> I'm going to just let y'all know, obviously, this is not a makeup tutorial. I know I said the next was going to be a makeup tutorial. I'm sorry. If you follow me on Instagram, shameless plug, you should be. Um, I told you that the next video, I had recorded one, but I didn't like the way it was looking. The lighting was weird. It was just, I didn't like it. Um, and this work week, super crazy. So I'm not going to have time to do another makeup tutorial, edit it down and have it up by Valentine's Day. Like, I'm just not gonna have time, but I didn't want to not post. So I thought like, okay, well, what can we talk about there? What can we do then? And I really just started thinking about Valentine's Day. Like y'all know me. I love love. I love hearts. I love I just love love like this time of year. Like I just love it. One of my siblings was actually born on Valentine's Day. So we've always celebrated it more of my life than we have and just off that but beyond that like i just love the idea of two people being like you know what i don't like people but i like you though and we're gonna figure this out forever like i just love the idea of that even though i struggle with the idea of it for me personally i love it for other people like i'll be telling my friends like i need y'all to get it together because i'm trying to go to some weddings i'm trying to go to some baby showers like what's up i'm trying to go to some destination weddings what's up like get it together but anyway i was thinking about you know how on instagram you be scrolling and you see those memes and all of that stuff and i'd be like yes girl i feel you on that it's one of those memes that says something like you know don't continue to sit at tables that are no longer serving you. you know, on the surface, I completely understand that sentiment, right? Don't let people take advantage of you. Don't let people get too comfortable to the idea that you're always going to be there and take advantage of the fact that like you love them and you rock with them or whatever. On the surface, I understand that. But I think sometimes we have to remember we will go through seasons where the table is not there for us to be getting from, but it's for us to put things out. You know what I'm saying? We live in a society that's very self-centered. And I think it's really easy to get caught up in that. I feel like Valentine's Day, honestly, is one of those days. For example, as a woman, you know, I have certain expectations around Valentine's Day. Subconsciously. Like, I didn't even realize I had those expectations until a situation happened. Valentine's Day, to me, is one of those holidays where it's really important to make sure, like, yes... We should be getting stuff at the table, but we should also be giving things at the table. You know what I'm saying? For example, like y'all know I have like weird things about like Christmas and Thanksgiving and stuff like that. Because I feel like if we family, we should be family all year round. My stepmama, her side of the family, I always laugh about this with my friends like or tell my friends this. But it's actually something that's pretty cool because I didn't grow up this way. The sky can be blue. The family getting together. Somebody, you know, learn to tie their shoe. We having a cookout. Like, it don't take nothing for the family to get together. But that's why during the holidays, it feels more genuine. As opposed to, you know, in other times in my life, the only time I would see my family is during the holidays. And it ain't because everybody live in different parts of the world. It's just because that's just how we rock. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just feels more like, it makes more sense in my head because we do this all year round. And for me, I feel like with Valentine's Day, valentine's day is one of those days like if you were a real one they should be showing you valentine's day vibes all year round all year round july 13th should be a valentine's day vibe it shouldn't just be valentine's day and sweetest day and I, you know i was literally like it wasn't until like two years ago that i found out everybody don't celebrate sweetest day so where did that even come from but anyway 
Valentine's Day is an arbitrary day that us humans created. I don't even know the history of Valentine's Day, but it's a day that we randomly created just to show love to one another. Real talk, business is just made to get to that block. I'm not mad though, because we all feed into the shenanigans. Plus, the day after all the candy be on sale, and you know, them uh, Ferrero Rochers is expensive, so I'll be looking forward to the sale. But anyway, I think it's really important to remember that during these type of holidays, and just in general, like you will go through seasons in life where you might not be gaining it's your job to be pouring in my opinion as someone who you know lightly does the relationship thing i like to think of a relationship as we're teammates we're partners i got you you got me i do the things that i do because i know if the circumstances were the other way around you would do those things for me if i feel like i'm doing too much or if i feel like i'm doing things that i if the situations were reversed and you wouldn't do that's a problem and we got to have a conversation and maybe I need to pull it back. I think sometimes we forget that beyond our feelings and emotions for people that still are, if you're a Christian, that's still your brother or sister in Christ. There will be seasons where you really legitimately need to be on, this is my brother in Christ tip or this is my sister in Christ tip. Everything shouldn't just be from a romantic standpoint. You know what I'm saying? There will be times where guess what? That person might just not have it. So what, you just leave because they don't have it? We, and I'm getting like, we real heavy right now. And it's like, oh, if you can't do this and if you ain't got this and you ain't swinging like this and you ain't driving this and you can't supply this, then I don't wanna be bothered. But that's just not realistic. You know what I'm saying? I was working at a store today and you know, I heard this girl straight up be like, yo, if he can't give me this, this and this, then what's the, then why be bothered? And I mean, I'm a, this girl was young. I'm a little bit older now. So I definitely, I know what I want. And the things that I want realistically aren't materialistic, you know, and I feel like women who are, as we get more mature and we actually mature, because like Prince says, people need to start acting their age and not their shoe size. There are a lot of people who get caught up in the materialistic part of Valentine's Day and they get caught up in like, oh, well, if he can't do this and he can't do that or she can't do this and she ain't willing to give this, then I don't want to be bothered. What happened to just wanting to be a servant like as a christian like the servitude part don't go out the window just because it's valentine's day like i feel like if i am thinking about you and you thinking about me that everybody covered you know what i'm saying the problem becomes when you're thinking about somebody and they're thinking about themselves and there's no one thinking about you or vice versa they're thinking about you and you think about yourself and there's no one left to think about that person I just really said all that to say like, yeah, there will be times where you will be sitting at a table and your sole purpose at that table is to help the people that are there. So in Valentine's Day, give your significant other a little grace. Maybe they don't give you the gift that you want. Maybe Valentine's Day is just not their thing and they kind of just like, I don't really know what to do. Give them a little bit of grace. Give them some ideas. Maybe it's a situation where they just ain't got it. Maybe Valentine's Day is on an off pay week. Like, they just don't have it like that. Come up with some stuff that don't cost that much. You know what I'm saying? Y'all just pick your favorite movie, cook some food, and chill in the house and just be around each other. Like, it don't have, we get so caught up in wanting to show off for the gram that we forget the touching things and we forget the real, re the reason that's supposed to be behind these holidays. If it's really supposed to be on some like, yo, I love you, you love me, and let's just, you know, let's just be a family, whatever, then don't freak, don't lose sight of that. Don't get mad if they can't give you the material things that you, that you want. And not only that, like I said, maybe they're just not in a place where they can give you anything. So does that mean you just automatically don't give? Did you really love them then? I'm just saying, maybe this is, as ladies, maybe this is the season that we do. You know, we do have to be the one to step up. We do have to be the one like, you know what, babe? I know Valentine's Day isn't really your thing, but this is what I want to do. Or what do you want to do? Like, or you know what, babe? I just want to stay in the house. Let's just kick it, order some food or cook, watch some movies. Let's just chill. Let's just let it be me and you tonight. You know what I'm saying? And guess what? Taking it out for a fancy dinner, it ain't got to be all like that. Get dressed up yourself. Like, cook dinner, but get dressed up. Get your mm, mm, mm. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But it doesn't have to be. All of that because real talk as long as i'm with that person none of the other stuff matters and that's how it's supposed to be you know what i'm saying so i guess i said all that to say tie it up in a bow make it sweet 
yes, you should get them from tables where they're no longer serving you. But just make sure you're not the one who's supposed to be serving. Make sure you're getting up in the proper season. Make sure that you're not allowing your frustration of that season to block the growth and the lessons and the changes that are supposed to come from you withstanding that season. Relationships are hard, they're complicated. And sometimes we get caught up in this person is not operating the way that we want to operate. And don't get me wrong, like, you know, I always think about when people be like, you know, my grandparents was together X amount of years. But we also they also lived in a time where, like, divorce really wasn't a thing. So I kind of don't look at that, like, the same way I used to. But I don't. I also don't like the idea of nobody wants to work for a relationship anymore. It feels like our generation isn't built to withstand relationships anymore. Like, at the first sign of, oh, I don't like this. We ready to go. And I'm not talking about physical. I'm not talking about any type of abuse. I'm not saying you should take verbal, physical, emotional, financial abuse. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about regular relationship stuff. Nothing extreme. So don't be extreme. Regular relationship stuff. If this person is not doing what we want them to do, oh, well, I'm good. No, like sometimes people, maybe they're having an off day. Maybe they're just in a weird season. That's where communication comes in. Like, let's talk it out. Let's figure it out. And some people ain't supposed to be together. That's fine, but just make sure that you're not moving just because you ain't going to be the one. So, eventually, this got to get put away. That's all I'm saying. So, I love y'all. I hope you guys are booed up. My married folk, I hope y'all get you some good mm -mm -mm. For my single folk, I mean, if that's what you're doing, go off, boo. Don't make no babies, though, child, because those things is expensive. <laughs> Make sure you like this video, share this video. Tell me, what are some of y'all's Valentine's Day get together? Like, what y'all doing? Me and my homegirls are going out. We're going to see a photograph. I'm very excited about that. Yeah, but just tell me, what y'all doing? I'm trying, I gotta live vicariously through y'all. Because like I said, I'm hanging out with my girls, but some of y'all might be doing some other stuff. So what y'all doing? And um, make sure you check out, honestly, I haven't really updated my website in a while. I need to get my life together. It's been a lot going on. Pray for the kid. But Make sure you follow me on Instagram. I'm very, I'm getting very active on my Instagram page. So make sure you follow me on Instagram, Truth and Love United. Um, make sure you like, share, comment, watch the channel, watch some other videos. Don't just watch this one video. I got other videos popping. Make sure you watch some other videos. Get the kids view up. And um, like I always say, as long as you're ready, your race at God's pace, you're exactly where you're supposed to be. Love y'all. Happy Valentine's Day, y'all. Bye. Know that a girl can make everything you got a little better. She can change your world for the better, but only if you let her. Yeah, yeah. Look at my hair. Ew. Look at my nails. Ew. Literally, this is exactly the vibe that I wanted. Like when I thought the beginning of Valentine's this when I thought the beginning of February, I was like, yo, I really want to be like subtle Valentine's Day. Like Valentine's Day baby, but if she was born like if the Valentine's Day baby was born in Cleveland. Ew. <laughs> Bye y'all. Love y'all.